Welcome to Comic Creation in Affinity Photo for children age around 10 plus. This is an Affinity Photo iPad tutorial. Chapter 1 Setting it all up. <clears throat> in the beginning. Firstly, open Affinity Photo and look for Settings and tap this option down here. You can see Settings right at the bottom left hand side there. From the Settings interface, select User Interface and from that menu, select Undo and Redo buttons. Show Undo and Redo buttons. The slider button will move to the right and turn white. That way you know you've got it selected. When you've done that, select Done. You will be returned to your opening screen. Now we can continue. So today, I'll show you how to create a comic book page in Affinity Photo by copying one of your favourite cartoons. You can easily learn to draw by using this method. Lots of practice makes perfect. Start by photographing your favourite character as best you can. It doesn't need to be perfect, just reasonably clear. It will save to your photos gallery as normal. You might even use the image you can download from the address in the description below. And I'll put this image up there so you can download it. You might even photograph a drawing or a sketch that you've made yourself and that you really like and would like to digitise it. And that's what this is. Now open Affinity Photo and from the open menu select Import from Photos. And from there Select the photo you just took and import it into the workspace like this. If you downloaded the image, use Open Document instead, which is just at the top of that list. That's a document that you'll have saved on your iPad somewhere. Select the image you want and open it in Affinity Photo by just clicking on it and it will open. Your setup should look something like this. This image could even be a photo of a rough drawing that you did yourself. Let's move our drawing to where it's a little easier to work on. And I'm moving it slightly to the left. You'll notice I've moved it to the left and pinched it in a little to reduce its size. Do this with your finger and thumb on the image and pinch it in gently, just a little. With two fingers, you can gently, on the image, slide it about to where you need it exactly. You could practice that and see how easy it is once you get the feel of it. Now we can start copying, or tracing as I like to call it. Create a new pixel layer by first selecting the layer panel on the right side. Now we'll do this because we don't want to draw on our original image. You'll see your image in the layer icon. Select the plus sign just above the icon. This list of options will pop up, but we only want the top one, pixel layer, so tap that option. Your layer panel will now have an extra panel in it. Perfect. That's your drawing layer. Make sure it's selected when you are drawing. Now to select the pencil brush so we can copy the image outline. We make two tool selections here. Select the paintbrush tool and then select the brushes panel. You can see the paintbrush tool is on the left there and a little pop-up will appear. Then select the Brushes panel and that drop down menu will appear there. If you're lucky it will start on Basic but it may start on some other panel, some other type of brush. But from the Brushes panel select the Basic Brush Set. So you can move left or right or just click on the words there and a list of brush types will come up. But you want Basic. 
select the basic brush set and from there select the third one down which is the round brush. You'll see it out outlined just like this. Now they're all called round brush but you can see they're all a little bit thicker than the other as you go down the list. Notice that the brush size is shown on the bottom left as four pixels. That's four pixels in width. Now a pixel is a measure of the dots that make up an image on the screen. You don't need to worry too much about that. Just keep it at four pixels and that's a good width to draw with for these images. You can change this size, but for now we'll leave it. And the brush color usually defaults to black or to the last color you used. Of course you can change this as you like. We'll leave it black for now. Now to start copying the image. Use the very tip of your Apple Pencil by begin to drawing a line starting on the boy's hat button and just trace the hat to start with. Now, Chapter 2, Tracing. This is the artwork. Trace the hat to start with by using a light steady pressure on the pencil and following all the lines that make up the hat, eye, hat outline. Try to work in continuous lines if you can and keep the lines connected if you can. If you make a mistake, use the undo option to step back so you can redo it. To see what you have done, you can hide the background image by tapping the dot alongside it to hide it. And that's just left your hat that you've drawn yourself. To make it easier to see what you're doing and what you're tracing, you can reduce the visibility of the background to about 20% with the Opacity tool at the top of the layer panel. Select the background layer, then select the Opacity tool and set it to about 20%. You tap on the number and just change it to 20%. Now you don't have to hide the background image each time. Make sure you reselect the pixel layer when you've done that. You don't want to draw on the background. Now let's take our time and trace the rest of the image. Take it slowly and don't worry about little errors or stray lines. Just like real drawing with pencils, you can make corrections later if you want to. Use the erase brush to rub out lines you want to redo. You can easily adjust the erase brush width if you want to, just like the paintbrush. Its default is quite large, but you'll find it's usable at that size. Complete your first draft of the image. You can see it's not exact, but that doesn't matter. You want it to be your own work, not an exact photocopy. Now when you hide the background image, the original, your own version, will be clear. You can now save your drawings to photos or export it as an image you can use later. To save it to photos, select export from that top menu there, which is like three lines, the sandwich they call it. Select the sandwich at the top, just on the left there and from the drop-down menu select Export. Then select Share. Then select Save Image and it saves to your Apple Photos folder where you'll find it later when you close the image selection down. You can then select Cancel and go back to the drawing page. Now that's about it for this lesson. Thanks for watching. I hope you gained some ideas and insights for creating your own work in Affinity Photo. Please share the video with friends if you like the idea. I'm sure they'll appreciate it.